dear students and teachers welcome back to my channel says so few months left for the slc exam i have planned to make video series on maths passing package so that in each part of this video series two or three important questions will be discussed with practice questions so do practice all these questions and similar questions from the textbooks so that you can score good marks in mathematics first question find the discriminant and write the nature of roots of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 the given quadratic equation is 2x square minus 5x plus 3 the first step is find out the value of coefficients a b and c what is the value of a coefficient of x square b is coefficient of x and c is the constant a equals to b equals minus 5 c equals 3 a equals 2 b equals minus 5 and c equals 3 now discriminant of the quadratic equation is given by delta or capital d equals b square minus 4 ac repeat with me discriminant delta equals b square minus 4 ac now delta equals substitute the value of a b and c in this equation we get minus 5 whole square minus 4 into value of a is 2 into value of c is 3 now delta equals Minus five whole square equals that is minus five into minus five. We get minus into minus plus five five is a twenty five. Twenty five minus four two is a eight. Eight three is a twenty four. Now delta equals twenty five minus twenty four is one. We got delta or discriminant equals one. Since the value of delta or discriminant is greater than 0 since the value of the discriminant delta is greater than 0 that means the roots are real and distinct since discriminant is greater than 0 the roots are real and distinct a quadratic equation will have two roots those two roots are real and distinct because discriminant is greater than 0 now practice question do practice and solve this question 2x square plus 6x minus 4 equal 0 and x square minus 7x plus 2 equal 0 moving to second question of passing package part 1 Find the sum of first twenty terms of the AP four, seven, ten, and so on. Now write down the given AP that is four comma seven comma ten and so on. The first step is find out the value of first term and the common difference. What is the first term? First term is four. Now what is the common difference? That is difference of any two consecutive terms. I'll take here a two minus a one. That is seven minus four is three. Or 10 minus 7. Therefore, n equals. We need to find out sum of first 20 terms. Therefore, n equals 20. Now, the sum of n terms of an AP is given by the formula S n equals n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. The sum of n terms of an AP is given by S n equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now substitute value of 
a d and n that is s20 equals 20 by 2 2 times a is 2 times 4 what is the value of n that is 20 minus 1 into d is 3 now s yes, 20 that is sum of 20 terms equals 2 ones are 2 times 10 is 20 so 10 into 2 fours are 8 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 we get 19 into 3 now 10 into 8 plus 19 times 3 is 57 s yes, 20 equals 10 times 8 plus 57 is 65 we get s yes, 20 equals 10 times 65 is 650 therefore the sum of 20 terms the first 20 terms of the given ap is 650 650 practice question Find the sum of 10 terms of the given AP 3, 7, 11 and so on. Find the first sum of first 45 terms of the AP 5, 8, 11 and the If you find my videos are useful, do subscribe the channel.